Media day for Bellator 238 is underway. This Saturday, Chris Cyborg will be going head to head against Julia Budd for the Bellator Women's Featherweight Championship. So Juan, first of all, how fast did you get back into the gym after your loss to Pitbull? Oh, the next day I was in the gym. Yeah, I mean, I was, I came in unscaled, unhurt. I mean, granted, I got hit with some shots, but never rocked me. I was never, like, blacked out or, like, messed up or anything. But, uh, you know, he just hit me with stuff I came in with. And uh, so, you know, I built off of it. Was able, uh, We had teammates fighting right away, uh, Syed Awad and Cub Swanson. And they helped me get my head out of my ass and uh, stop feeling sorry for myself and keep the motivation going forward and keep building off of that. Did you watch your fight, your fight back and sort of analyze and see what you did wrong? Or was there something that you already knew or something that you had to work on for your upcoming fights as well? Oh, yeah. I've watched it like probably like a million times. You know, you watch your losses more than you do your wins. I just watched it yesterday and it's just like, man, if, if I would have, should have, could have, you know. Um, and you take that and you build off it. So it reminds you that going into a fight like this with Henry, uh, that you're going to go and do that. You got to don't keep the what a shit, what a what a should have could have um, away, you know, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to this fight. So now how important is a win over Henry Corrales, who is a quality opponent, you know, to sort of keep you in that mix for the title? You know what? A guy like Henry uh, Corrales and I, we have built our brand already as 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 goers, as brawlers. So a win doesn't really do anything for us a loss really doesn't do anything for us um this is more for the fans this is uh i feel like this was a treat for bellator to say here you go fans like this is something that i want you guys to enjoy because both of us are going to enjoy a fight like this i mean we look forward to going on there and throttling each other for the fans you know because we're both very good competitors we're both from california we're both hispanic and we both love to throw down so how do you hope to dictate the pace of the fight against henry uh, to go out there and give it my all, you know, uh, push push the pace and stay on my offense. You know, the moment I sit back, the moment I admire my work is the moment his haymakers come out of nowhere and land on your chin. And same for him. You know, once he admires his work, I'm coming right back. As soon as, as he hits me hard, I'm going to hit him just as hard. As soon as I hit him, he's going to hit me just as hard. So I got to be ready. Exactly. So now, you know, obviously 2020, new year, new you. We've all been there. What is sort of your motivation keep pushing you forward for this year? My motivation going into this year is wanting to fight more, you know, wanting to keep performing, hopefully stay injury free where I can fight more, um, you know, and I, uh, my motivation is to push seven fights this year. Yeah. Thank you so much, Juan.